One of the things we're looking out for is systolic anterior motion. And this is common in relatively mild HCM, and it's commonly why you might see a murmur, or you might hear a murmur in a cat, where actually you see relatively mild disease on the echo. Uh, and the answer is that statistically these cats are the ones that do best. Um, so it can be seen in severe disease, but it's common in cats with very few clinical signs at all. And what happens is that the mitral valve here, anterior mitral leaflet, is getting sucked up into the outflow tract, a bit like a venturi effect, if you remember. Uh, running taps through tubes in uh, some physics lab as a, as a uh, school child. And that's the same sort of principle here. Um, and we don't quite know why it happens, but the mitral can get sucked in and therefore cause a narrow outflow tract. The, uh, the next slide will show you um, a video. And actually, the video has been taken from um, a human. Um, and uh, here's an example. And what we're looking for is the tip of the anterior mitral leaflet flipping up into the outflow tract, just here. So you can see that. You can see how that's going to get in the way and cause narrowing and certainly cause uh, turbulence. That's what's going to cause the murmur. So a lot of these cats have got turbulence in the left ventricular outflow tract. I say outflow tract because that's the aortic valve up there. And then this is the outflow tract here. The, along the, the anterior surface of the anterior mitral leaflet. So that's where the turbulence occurs. And often these, these can come and go. Um, and so they're often dynamic. And that's often why the murmurs come and go. And uh, lots of cats come into the clinic. You take them out of the basket. The murmur's there. You think, oh, I better listen to that. And it's gone, gone again. You wonder what it was. But that's almost certainly what it was. Uh, and it's less of an issue. On the M mode, we can see it too. So here we can see the mitral valve just flipping up into the outflow tract during systole. So the, this is the, the heart contracting, this, so this is systole, and we shouldn't see mitral, mitral valve in the outflow tract in systole.